Welcome back to Simply Off Grid. Thank you so much for tuning in. This week is slightly different. The world is a very challenging place for many right now. And we're just being able to do all we can to update you as to what's been going on here. We have been uh, starting some drywall. We're going to give you an update on the potatoes. And we also went to a Black Lives Matter protest here in the valley. Hope you enjoy. Drywalling, never really done it before. Uh, and I've just started to give it a go. We're in the suite today. So not in the yurt, we're on the opposite side of the land, uh, just across the way there. And decided to get some drywalling done. So this room was, we, when we came into this property, it wasn't finished. So w there was actually some fitted wardrobes in here and we decided to get rid of them. They just didn't fit with our, what we wanted to do here. So when we pulled them out, we realized that the people before us actually just did a shortcut and didn't actually finish the drywalling behind. And they just put in these fitted wardrobes all the way around this little alcove right here. So I've started with this one. Uh, this isn't gonna be an instructional video on how to drywall. I just wanted to um, document my first attempts at drywalling and seeing how it goes. So I've done this little section here, it went pretty well, a little bit messy, but getting used to it. And I'm just gonna carry on with this little section here now. I'm basically using um, this stuff. It's like a pre-mixed, um, joint compound and then getting some of this paper here um, to join those seals so lots of awesome videos on youtube um, been watching the vancouver carpenter as well so i'll put a link um, somewhere up here um, to his channel so uh, thanks to him for his videos um, i've been watching those and that's what i'm using to learn how to do this drywall so um, so yeah let's get this finished Okay, so it looks pretty easy, just getting that smooth uh, line of the, the mud on there. I've already pre-cut a bunch of these to length, so I'm just gonna push that on and then smooth it over again with some more of the mud. Okay, so I've got all this done. First, uh, first time doing the drywall. It actually seemed to go on pretty good, pretty easy. Um, the thing is, I'm not sure how smooth it's gonna be. I've gotta do a second coat. Oh, it's super blown out there. <laughs> uh, let's have a look, there we go. You might be able to see a little bit there. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all, so we'll see. Um, Got a bit of work to do on the ceiling because they stuck uh, these these fitted wardrobes. They glued them to the ceiling, so it's kind of pulled some of the paper away. So I'm gonna figure out what to do with that. Um, and the other weird part is in this corner here. You've got quite a large gap between the two walls. So I'm gonna do some research and getting that filled and see what the best way to do that is. Um, but this all needs a second coat and then we should be ready to uh, sand her down and get her painted. Okay, so it's been just over two weeks since we planted the potatoes. So let's take a look at them, see how they're doing. So our potatoes have grown 12 inches. Well, these two have at least. Um, so we've hilled up some dirt just around the bottom six inches of that 
um, so that more potatoes will grow out sideways, they spread sideways. Uh, these guys aren't quite 12 inches yet, so we'll just wait um, before we add more soil to that. I'm just gonna call this one 12 inches. That's some dirt. Uh, we should have probably dug deeper trenches, but this is our first time, so. We've learned for next time. Um, you can pull some dirt from the side too and just pile it around. It doesn't matter if it covers um, the leaves, that's okay. So we finally got our grow bags that we ordered in the mail. So they're just these fabric bags. Um, we wanted to plant extra potatoes, so we did that. We just filled the bottom um, with soil and then we planted in the potatoes. You can see they're already starting to sprout up. You sort of tell. These are purple potatoes, so you can't see too well. And then so same thing when those um, potatoes grow their leaves about 12 inches, then we'll add more dirt 